hope not from a black cap's point of view and he just shakes it off and finally pulls the first legal delivery of this match and that's a perfect line in length right where he wants to be a sort of fifth thump line and that one zipped through didn't it nice carry through to the keeper as well as Anwar charges in again this one's a full toss and easily driven through the gap on the offside no fuss at all there from the bat of Sarwar. His eyes slid up when he saw that full toss, but he kept his head nice and still and drove that one through the gap. And this one's clubbed into the leg side. It was up there for the picking, and Sarwar's getting his eye in early on in this innings. Well, if you keep bowling there, you're just going to make his task easy. He's a man who has so much power. And all he needs to do is just flick this one perfectly timed. And As Anwar steams in again, this one's bold at a similar length. Not a lot of elevation on this one on this occasion, but it'll be another boundary. Once as Anwar runs in the ball, his fifth ball. Yet another exemplary piece of cricket off the bat of Zishan Sarwar. Nishi here shaking his head in approval. Excellent cover drive, that one. This is a short ball, and it's a sharp one, and an excellently directed one. I think the ball has been lodged in the batter's helmet. Omar Farouk, he's off to a good start here. He's off to a very good start, and uh, I think speaking of Miran Khan, he's just given a drink. This one is struck hard by Zishan Sarwar, and once again demonstrating his power. That's his second six, and this man doesn't seem too shaken. He's just batting with power. Well, he is. There was literally a lot of ease about that shot. Effortless from Zishan Sarwar. Farouk runs in. This one's clubbed straight out of the middle of the bat for Zishan. He just swiveled on that one, and that will go down for another boundary. Let's see how he competes against Parminder Singh. As this time he's cleaned up. Parminder Singh has looked fantastic tonight, and he's just picked up the first wicket for the Black Caps. Well, nothing wrong with that one. He was well behind the line. He cleans up the man who is doing things so easily so far. Go for the shorter one goes short and once again Scott Austin he just eats up those shorter deliveries that's a brilliant hook shot well we called that one early didn't we no he goes full just as we were saying takes a leaf out of that book beats Scott Austin all ends up excellent piece of bowling finds that block hole and Scott Austin who was so good in that previous game plays all over this one he might as well have been talking about the T10 game. This one shot and attempted pull will lead to another top edge. And once again, this will be safely pouched by the keeper. And on this occasion, it is not a no ball. So the batter will have to make his way back to the pavilion. So excellent piece of bowling here. Hasn't struggled to settle in whatsoever. And uh, he's coming in a good situation. But this time, Minhas Khan gets them a much needed boundary. And that's a classy back foot punch through the covers. This one's an on-pace delivery, and that has absolutely been belted through the offside. He's starting to feel his shots now, is Minas Khan. We saw him lift one about the offside a little while ago. This one's probably a better shot, a shot of the evening so far for me. As Ken Onwar round out this uh, very difficult over in good fashion. Once again, he goes back to his best delivery, which has troubled so many batsmen, but it won't make a difference as Omar Farouk Pulls his hat off, and I wonder what he was thinking. Just didn't make an attempt at it. Continues to do that. Oh, the keeper has made a shambles out of that one. Well, the Black Caps. Such a brilliant job to restrict batsmen. As this time, Grisavik Singh will go for a big swing and a miss, and this is just going to be another run out as once again, I think Minhas Khan is going to be the one who's going to have to end his innings, unfortunately, in a run out, but not without powering his side with that late push at the end, made a brilliant 24 of 18. Yes, another occasion where the bowler could have just taken a nap there for a bit before getting the bails off. Easy run out in the end. So it all rests on the shoulders of how well these two openers can do with the bat here. As Murtaza Yamin runs in, Waka Saktar once again, he gets that ball that he so loves to put away but only manages to get a bottom edge on that one as he tried to make contact. Yamin. Oh, he cleans him up. Excellent piece of bowling there. You can see what that means for the Muflons. They're all pumping their fists. Murtaza Yamin is delighted with that one. There you go. I've done it. They must have 
been speaking about the importance of delivering in the power play. Let's wait and watch. Oh, that's a full toss, and that won't be a maiden. He's got some bat on that one. It'll be a boundary. There you go, Nishi. What are you doing, mate? Well, this is exactly what we I did last time out as well. A wicked maiden ending in a four, so uh, I guess I should just uh, sprint as fast as I can out of this ground because uh, looks like I can hex them from anywhere. That was a... Maybe he could get a few runs through cover as well, as this time he just bounced one over and hits the top of the bar. That's a six. Looks like Reshim Singh's in a crossbar challenge. The strike a bit too, bit more because uh, Reshim Singh just wants to belt every delivery. And on this occasion, will it work? Wakar Ali has a bit of a chase and he's going to get to it. And a couple of runs for Reshim Singh. Yeah, man, having a good evening here. Well, this one's a helicopter stroke that finds the top edge. Two fielders underneath it and it kisses the grass. Bit of a confusion out there in the middle, but it's all safe in the end for the batters. And Reshim Singh shows us why exactly he's been sent out to do. It doesn't matter how you look when you're doing it. It's about getting the job done for your team. And he looks like he's a man on a mission. That one was going high and deep into the night sky. It's gone far into the bushes. Well, these are excellent scenes here. Entertainment all around. Lakwinder Singh bowls it in his range. He goes down on his knee, tries to smoke that one. Not enough in the tank. Reshim Singh, after an entertaining knock, much to our disappointment, we'll have to walk back to the hut. Well, that's another important wicket going down for the Black Caps. It'll be 26 for two. Anwar Ali, that's a sharp shot ball. Gets that top edge. This is purely precautionary, as Ataola will just swing at this one. Has it gone the distance? I think it's taken a bounce. No, it hasn't. It's been signaled a six, and Ataola really needed that one. Well, our ECN crew there, they had a few coming their way. Yeah, this time they give him a chance to free his hands, and they bowl so tightly to him all night. But guess what? He sent it straight to a fielder, and sometimes the bad balls are as successful as the good ones. Well, sometimes they are. That's the case in point over here. Ataola, after having cleared the ropes on one occasion, is not all that lucky on this occasion. Tries to smoke that one through the offside, but not enough heat on that one. This one's shaping away and an excellent piece of wicket keeping. Beautifully taken there and the bales were off in a flash. That one would have made the great MS Dhoni really proud. Standing up to Lokwinder Singh, making sure that the batter will pay the price if he goes outside the crease. Exactly what happened on this occasion. Beautiful shape away from him as well. He did him in the flight of that ball. Beat him, and what a grab there by the keeper behind the wicket. He, this, the keeper, Matasu, tries to middle this one. What a catch! Well, Scott Austin is a live wire in the field. He was telling me that he loves to field and he loves to do his cartwheeling around. He's got a bit of an athlete, an athletic frame around him. Wow, that one's one for the highlight reel again. He was running in at the rate of knots with Scott Austin. That one would have made the great man Austin himself call it a stunner. Going through a flurry in those middle orders. This is a well played, but straight to the fielder and their excellent catching continues as that is Fantastically taken by none other than. Well, Ursaywak saying ran in there, bowled this one with some bite in it. It was excellently timed, but unfortunately for the batter, straight down the fielder. Keep that record for himself. Well, he will keep that because Abu Sufyan will not get a wicket. But he's only gone away for a single run. Spectacular piece of bowling. Excellent clinical performance here from the men in yellow on the field. They'll be ecstatic with that one. You can see all of them getting together in the middle. Hugs all around the park. Brought these mufflons through to two wins in two today.